Okay, so let's continue and we're going to talk about campaigns with hierarchies and record types. So if we go back to our previous example, we have the Evans Lake 2021 Evans Lake Field Trip Fundraising. So let's make this the top level campaign. Like if we go back to the trailhead um, over here, we can see um, this is an example of how hierarchy looks like. For our hierarchy, let's make it the top level is the Evans Lake Field Trip. And then we have uh, two level, which is parent initiated events and student initiated events. And then the event itself, the third level. Okay, so that's an example. So we have this um, main campaign, like the parent, the level one. Now let's make level two. Let's say parent initiated campaign or events events make it active and i'm gonna say this is the same thing let's make it other in progress and start date is october 1st until um, december 31st and then expected revenue we don't know i'm just gonna leave everything blank but the parent, okay? So the parent is 2021 Evans Lake Field Trip Fundraising. And this is Canadian dollar. And I'm going to hit save for now. And I'm going to show you one thing we can do is, all, is also clone a campaign or an existing campaign. For example, this is parent initiated events, but we don't want to fill those fields one by one again. Because mostly it's the same, just the name is different. We want to create another level 2, which is student initiated events. Okay. So now I'm going to create a clone. Here is the button. Clone this campaign. So say, and this is now a student. Okay. Student initiated events. So it's all pre-filled. I don't have to fill everything again there and the parent campaign is also the same so it's all good so i just need to rename this right and i'm going to hit save now as you can see you can you can see the campaign hierarchy over here as well so this is the main campaign the evans lake and then there is parent initiated events meaning maybe the parents want to do a bake sale you know and then the dads want to do car wash and then that kind of stuff that parents do for fundraising and then there is student initiated events maybe the students want to sell lemonade the students want to i don't know plant trees or anything that the students can do to uh, or clean the trash for the community or anything okay so basically we want to be able to track individual or categorize events how effective that is how many uh, funds are raised for, from by the parents how many funds are raised by the students and then we can see the total funds raised for the whole uh, field trip fundraising but now we still want to break it down more okay so if i go back to campaigns say the parents want to make um let's clone this again so if i want if i go to parent here let's go to parent here and i'm going to clone this again i'm going to clone that again and now i'm going to say parent initiated events here is bake sale okay the bake sale of the parent initiated events or maybe put it in the front bake sale because the title will go as the other way. It, sometimes it cuts the title. So I want this on the, on the first. You can, you know, organize your own naming and stuff. I'm, I'm going to show you what I mean by the, what's this, this whole thing. So now the, the parent is not the Evans Lake. But the parent is the um, 
the parent one the parent initiated events so this is the parent initiated events um, bake sale parent initiated events this is not parent like a parent campaign okay this is like parents like moms and dads so you're not confused this is like moms and dads okay so i'm gonna save so now if i take a look at the hierarchy you will see there we go we have evans like level one and then the mom and dad or parent initiated events, which is a bake sale. What else? The dads want to do car wash. Let's make car wash. I'm going to click here and clone. And do a car wash. Oops. Car wash, right? Um, everything else is the same. So I'm just going to hit save. And then we can see now the hierarchy as one more car wash. So parents have bake sale and car wash. Students, like, let's make one. The students can make, I'm going to copy or clone this one. Uh, lemonade sale. I'm going to clone this and say lemonade sale. Student initiated events. So this will be the student, okay? student initiated events there we go that's a full example now if we go here and check the campaign hierarchy we have parent initiated events we can open that we have bake sale and then see it's truncated so that's why i put the bake sale up front otherwise it looks the same right can we yeah we can actually do that as well so that's how you create hierarchy. So what about record types? Well, same like other record types, like contact record types, you can create student, you can create parent record type or teacher's record type or opportunities. You can create, you know, different record type as well. Now for the campaign um, hierarchy, for the campaigns, you can create different record types as well. So, for example, get specific with record types. So, for example, I want to differentiate if the revenue comes from directly a donation, like somebody just giving money for nothing. Like, I want to donate $50 for this field trip. I don't need a car wash. I don't need your cake. I don't need a lemonade. I just want to give you some money. So with that, we need to create a record type. Is it a sale or is it a contribution? Like an example, okay? You can just be creative and do whatever you want. For, but for example, I'm going to create that. So how do, you do, how do you create record types? It's from setup, right? Setup, and then you go to your object, which is campaign. And then you're going to just create a new record type over here. Uh, for campaign so right now we don't have anything so i'm going to make a new one the first one is a sale let's name it a sale for this particular one okay a sale and we're going to enable for everybody and then i'm going to choose campaign layout and then that's it and save a new Another record type I want to say is a donation or contribution. Let's make it donation. It's active as well. We are going to enable for everybody. Now, when you create a new campaign, it's going to ask, what is it? Is it a donation campaign? Oops. Or is it a, a sale? Are you selling the, the, the bake, uh, the, the, yeah, what is this campaign? For example, a bake sale. What is a bake sale? A bake sale is a sale, right? Because it's a bake sale. So you want to change this record type here. Is a sale. And next. And save. So this is now a sale. So let's save. Now we, we have just assigned... Uh, record type for the bake sale for the bake sale now 
if you want to make a new one now a new campaign i'm just going to clone no let's make a new one or clone you can clone maybe the um lemonade and then there's also just a donation so i'm going to clone this and make it a donation a new one but a donation so not lemonade sale like donations only okay so it's the same thing is initiated by the student but this is for for donations so we're not selling anything it is for people just to donate so those um, are the example of how you can use record types it keeps hanging up on me so if i click one of these uh, for example this and there we go so this is the, uh, the donations only and if we see the hierarchy from here few campaign hierarchy there we have it there we go so now we have student initiated events which is the donations and lemonade sale so that's basically it i hope you get it and how to use it and how to use record types and the hierarchies it's pretty straightforward right Let's do the quiz. What information can you see with a campaign hierarchy? All the campaign members, how much marketing reps are working, the number of hours, the number of responses in the hierarchy. Yeah, we can see the number of responses in the hierarchy. I'm pretty sure. This is the most common number of levels is three, as discussed above. How do you create a campaign hierarchy by uh, putting the parent campaign right the parent what can you do with campaign record types at marketing assets track campaign member responses track different details for different kind of campaigns because you can assign different page layouts for different types of record types that's basically it i'll see you on the next video bada bing bada Boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.